कार्डियो पोलमनरी रिसोसिटेशन यानी कि सीपीआर का एक अवेयरनेस प्रोग्राम रखा गया था एनएमसी सेल ऑफ एफ ओ एम एस केवियन यूनिवर्सिटी यहाँ केवियन यूनिवर्सिटी ऑडिटोरियम में प्रोग्राम रखा गया था जो बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट है सीपीआर की अवेयरनेस देना लोगों को जरूरी है और ये एक हिस्सा है नेशन वाइड इनिशियटिव नेशनल बोर्ड ऑफ एग्जामिनेशन इन मेडिकल साइंस एन बी का जहाँ पर 600 हंड्रेड स्टूडेंट एंड स्टाफ ने इस प्रोग्राम को रजिस्टर किया था शुरुआत में एक लाइव वीडियो डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन हुआ सीपीआर का बाय एन उसके बाद डॉक्टर जिब्रान ने एक्सप्लेन किया इन डिटेल सीपीआर प्रोसीजर को डॉक्टर विनोद जो पीडियाट्रिक डिपार्टमेंट के हैं उन्होंने डेमोन्स्ट्रेट किया कि किस तरह से सीपीआर देना चाहिए इन्फेंट्स को और यंग चिल्ड्र को उसके बाद क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर सेशन भी रखा गया था हैंड्स ऑन ट्रेनिंग भी दी गई सीपीआर की और कई सारे पार्टिसिपेंट्स में मौजूद भी रहे इस मौके पर डॉक्टर सिद्धेश सिरवर डीन एफ ओ यूनिवर्सिटी डॉक्टर सिदलिंग शेंगटी एम एस के बी एन टी एच एंड जनरल हॉस्पिटल डॉक्टर एम ए बसीर डायरेक्टर आई क्यू ए सी के बी यूनिवर्सिटी यहाँ पर मौजूद रहे और सब लोगों ने गैदरिंग को एड्रेस भी किया और एक इम्पोर्टेंट अवेयरनेस सीपीआर का देते गए नॉन मेडिकल पर्सनल को ताकि वो जिंदगी बचा सके उसके बाद डॉक्टर बिलाल ने इस इवेंट को कंक्लूड किया वोट ऑफ थैंक्स के साथ आइए देखते हैं emergency societies with the help of uh, faculties at the uh, institutions we are bringing this awareness together to our platform and on behalf of the national board of examination i extend my gratitude to minister of health and family welfare is it not scary that while performing a dance in wedding or garba someone collapses and dies does it make you wonder why this is happening and what would you do in a situation if a person would collapse suddenly in front of you do you worry why you hear of so many heart related diseases in younger age groups let us try to explain you why such things are happening Thousand. 
two for thousand, three for thousand, four for thousand, five for thousand, six for thousand, seven for thousand, eight for thousand, nine for thousand, ten for thousand. So is there a pulse? This uh, CPR is yes. having effective, whether this is effective only in case of uh, drowning in water or uh, drowsiness due to intoxication. Sir is asking because whatever will the cause, whether the patient has aspirated, like taken a lot of water or hanging or due to electricity or due to fire or due to poisoning, trauma, accident, the effect is heart has stopped functioning. The cause may be various. The intention is to give artificially pump the heart. The causes can be many. They are the treatable causes will be treated in the hospital. The point is as soon as the emergency happens, time should not be wasted. Uh, I welcome you all for this program which has been organized by the Faculty of Medicine and the NMC sir. And I also thank the deans of the uh, different specialties, uh, and all, all the faculties and uh, boys and girls. I hope this session of uh, cardiopulmonary exercise has given you some idea about uh, the how to save the life. You all can become a life savers if you apply this knowledge which you have got today, you are going to get the certificate also, digital certificate, those who have already registered. So take that uh, certification without fail. All the students, all the faculties of various departments of KV University. Today, it was a very important event for most of you. I think it is one in a lifetime opportunity. I thank Ministry of Health, Government of India. I thank National Medical Council. I thank National <coughs> DNP Board for providing this video. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my team members, Dr. Gibran, who was truly outstanding with his explanation, Dr. M. Fahim, Dr. Vaseem Javed, and also I would like to thank Dr. Abrar sir and Mr. Mujahid sir, who joined hands to organize this awareness program. I am very much thankful to the print and press media. And lastly, I am sure that the, all the participants of today's program will share the knowledge with their loved ones to save them from their heart attacks. Thanks to all of you making this program successful. So all these events will be starting, inshallah, on 13th of December. In next by next week and we will be completing it on 21st of December. Now the detailed schedules, the organizing members, then where it is going to take place, everything will be shared to you by your respected faculty coordinators. Thank you for watching GoHash. Like, share and subscribe our channel.